What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the locker room week five of the APA uh, with our brand new draft, the Dragon Draft. And uh, very excited to use this team because Dragon is just, they're just such powerful mons, and they're just like, at any given time, can just like wreck something. And just, I'm just so excited to use this team and really see where it can go. Uh, so on the left, you'll see the six Pokemon I'm bringing uh, that we're going to be going over today. And on the right, you'll see an absolutely incredibly rushed, uh, ordered, tiered thing that I normally do for the 11 Pokemon that he drafted just to see whether... I, I usually try and kind of put them where, like, sort of, I think. Uh, but I really had to rush this one because I'm battling Mitticus, like, tonight. Like, everything had to be done tonight. I had to team build. I have to record this. I have to record the video. I then have to edit that. All of this needs to be done tonight. So I'm, like, kind of in a little bit of a rush here. So we're going to do this quick. Uh, Jirachi, Hydreigon, Togekiss, Mega Beedrill, Rotom H, Palisand, Superior, Mindshow, Mianshow, uh, Jellicent, Crabominable, and Licky Licky. So, uh, starting with the kind of tiering process, Jirachi, uh, no reason for Jirachi not to come. Uh, the steel typing is good at resisting the dragon. He's got amazing. He's got an amazing ability. He's got amazing move pool. He can be support. He can be almost anything. No way he doesn't come. No way. Hydreigon, uh, because this is a dragon gym, and he could very easily pack like specs or scarf Draco, and that's a good thing to bring. We've got the Togekiss as an option as well. That's a fairy type, so it stands to reason. Mega Beedrill, just because uh, very good speed tier, very good offensively, good to have as a check to the Latios, which is one of the premier members of my squad. Rotom H and Palisand, I kind of just put there because they were a little tanky and they could do something. Um, actually, now that I see them there, I, maybe I don't think they deserve to be that high. But again, guys, this was rushed and it doesn't really matter um, because I kind of built the team around for everybody. Superior has Contrary. Uh, and can do a lot with that. Uh, we have Mian Xiao, again, a fast offensive Mon, has a pretty good speed tier, but ultimately I think less likely to come just because I have a Pokemon that checks it very well with a better speed tier, that's Latios. Jellicent, uh, another bulky Mon akin to the two above it. Any, any of the bulky Mon in theory could come depending on what he wants them to kind of check based on the other answers he has licky licky jellicent palisand and rotom h all of them relatively similar degrees of bulk and could be brought as an answer to any of my other ones so in theory they're all the same except that licky licky kind of sucks so i don't think licky licky comes uh, and then crabominable um maybe i have it low is an ice type and that would be good against dragons um, but it's very slow so it, it might not be an awesome bring since while it's not like ridiculously frail i think there's a lot of mons on my squad that can kill it in one shot so let's go over my team the blue one uh which is a latios a psychinium z levitate dragon claw zen headbutt earthquake dragon dance uh the Zen Headbutt at plus one turned on to Psychium Z can take out the Togekiss and pretty much anything that doesn't resist it, really, uh, once I get to plus one. And Latios has it, not good defenses, but 80-80 is passable, 80-110 is good. And so I should be able to take a hit from quite a few things to get my Dragon Dance up, uh, and then I can pop off the Z move and kind of go from there. Moving on, we have Strife, who is also a dragon dancer facade earthquake roost and dragon dance uh starting ability is natural cure but of course that will become pixelate and uh pixelate will uh, allow facade to become a very powerful fairy type attack uh, which could be useful for me earthquake is good coverage for the jirachi which i, I like there's no way the jirachi doesn't come jirachi comes if someone drafts a jirachi it comes to every game uh roost and dragon dance uh, Strife just has a little bit better of an ability to assure he gets a Dragon Dance up, and against weaker things, uh, definitely affords me the ability to roost afterwards. And even in the face of something who thinks they can neuter me or cripple me with a Will-O-Wisp, it's actually going to make me stronger because of the facade. So that was the thought process there. Um, 
like a, not like a cleric, like I could have given him Heal Bell and made him a cleric, but instead just an absorber. Remix just an important Pokemon to give me uh, guaranteed speed tiers, which can be useful. It's also a very good switch into Jirachi, because uh, in general, Jirachi, his stab isn't good against himself, but also on top of that, I don't anticipate Jirachi's gonna bring something that would be super effective against himself, because looking at my team, um, my team's not particularly weak to fire, it's not particularly weak to ground, um, not particularly weak to dark, and I don't think Jirachi learns a dark move. So, uh, for all those reasons, very good Jirachi switch in would be a very killer thing to become the Hydreigons. I would really like that. Um, and in general, can do a lot of scouting for this. So, uh, that's great. Como, oh, one that I'm really excited for. Salic Berry, Sub Belly Drum, Thunder Punch, Drain Punch, um, even HP investment, which... MV, I'm holding you to this, buddy. MV, of course, uh, my friend who helps me team build, um, has assured me that this is the right HP stat to get me to trigger my berry uh, because we've had some fun games talking about what HP is needed for different sets in the past, like with subs and stuff like that, um, what survives, seismic tosses and stuff like that. Very fun stuff. Love that guy. Anyway, Drain Punch, Thunder Punch, Belly Drum, and Substitute. Drain Punch is good for almost everything. The thing that uh, resists Drain Punch uh, or that Drain Punch wouldn't be ideal against Thunder Punch is either super effective or it kills anyway. So that's everything I need right there uh, to potentially sweep his entire team. The Flygon, another Dragon Dancer, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Iron Tail. Iron Tail is uh, clutch here. Because if I can get to plus one and get just like a little chip on the Togekiss, uh, Iron Tail should be able to take it out. Uh, and having Earthquake is actually pretty good against several members of his team. So looking forward to seeing what you turn the Flygon can do. And then Curum the Kyurum. Curum, Kyurum, I don't know. Uh, Assault Vest, Ice Beam, Draco Meteor, Earth Power, Glaciate. Glaciate to try and give me some speed tier advantage. Slow something down to allow me to revenge with something different. Put me in a beneficial situation if I need to. Ice Beam and Draco are good. The Assault Vest and the Investment. You'll see my EVs are a little weird. I put them this way. I gotta, I gotta tell you guys something too. This was a very last minute change for me. Uh, Kurum was made so that uh, he could 1v1 the Togekiss. So he's faster than Togekiss and uh, has the AV and defense investment necessary to survive three Dazzling Gleams. And I can, um, Ice Beam will not Oko, but I could get him with, I could kill him with two. And also, fun fact, um, I can survive a Specs Draco sometimes from a Hydreigon. I wanted to gen or to make it in such a way that it would it would do it all the time. And in my first build for this, I did have that, um, but I have already changed that and had uh, sent my request to Tony to gen this team, and it is it is not that way. It's not built that way. So there's a chance I can survive a Specs Draco from a Hydreigon, and I will guaranteed Oko him back. Uh, with the with a Draco of my own and have a chance to Oko him back with Ice Beam, maybe a little prior damage and I'm all good. So looking at his team, it's not that I don't have answers to anything. It's just that with Monotype, a lot of the time getting a safe entry into that answer can be a challenge and can r involve needing to sack something. And if your answer to one thing is very easily revenged by another, um, you risk going like tit for tat and then it's just a matter of like do you plan your end game out well enough So I mean that's just in general I'm just like sharing my brain with you guys about how monotyping works when you're trying to like play gym battle style against other people Who don't have a monotype it really does work like that So it it's gonna be it's it is always going to be a lot of sacking trying to figure out Do I need this now? Do I need it later? Uh, and trying to find my way in with different things the way this team works is very win, like set up and win based, um, but it doesn't. It still doesn't mean that I won't be able to. It still it doesn't necessarily mean I'm guaranteed those opportunities. It just means that doesn't matter who's in, I can take one of them. Um, so Curum, here's the fun thing about uh, Curum, last minute addition because Envy really wants me to go Sligu here. He really wants me to. He really, really wants me to. And he has a pretty cool set, but I'm not going to do it. Not this week. 
Um, I think probably because I just, I'm just, I don't think it's likely enough that Superior comes. Sap Sipper would be useful for that. And just, uh, the issue is the offenses. Defensively, he's, he's actually really solid and can tank hits from a lot of different things. Uh, and the move pool's not bad. Just offensively, he falls a little short, and I'm not super okay with Mr. Slagoo coming this time. So, not going to come this time. Here's your six. Let me know what you think about the team in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Jim Luter Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys tomorrow.